well, the reason why we are here okay. is because of the ongoing massive demolition in the FCT by the Honorable Minister of FCT, yes, or yes. Okay. The reason why we have come to this particular location, there are four different demolitions affecting thousands, more than 15,000 residents of the FCT in this location alone. You can see here children who their parents are directly affected. You can also see that there is a victim. One of the victims was shot. He is here, he's here. The media have captured. He has just been brought from the hospital. He was shot on the leg. Prophecy what millions of naira shops have been destroyed. After the demolition, the FCD and the FCTA administration, they not only did they demolish, they burned properties here. As you can see, the media can go around to verify for themselves. We have come to, to identify with the poor people who are affected. And we, are, we have also been briefed. We were briefed just yesterday. We were briefed just yesterday by all the affected residents that we should take up their matter in court on their behalf. So we have come not just to sympathize, but to assess the level of damage, you know, that they have witnessed here with the intention of approaching the court. But before we do, the, do that next week, we are using this medium to appeal to the president, President Bola Mesinubu, to consider the plights of FCT residents who are barely just surviving. Their goal is just to survive. Many of the residents here are people who were driven away from Borno, from Adamawa, from Yobe. They, they read from Safara, they resign. Because, because of insurgency and insecurity in the country, they, they, they live here, they work in the FCT, they are builders, they are painters, you know, they are shoemakers, you know, they are doing so much good work for the community. They are drivers, you know, and there is no justification. They help the security agencies in the FCT to prevent crime in the FCT. There is no justification for this demolition, hey, hey. for the ongoing demolition. These demolitions are hey, hey. unconscionable, hey, hey. there are too many. Hey, hey. And we are appealing to the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces that the, Mr. President, you must do something about this. Very, very straight. Uh, the repercussion of something like this we cost us a lot, especially after. First of all, this place that has been demolished is not anywhere on the road. This is one of us. It's not anywhere on the road or beside the road. Look at the faces of these people. I hate to stereotype, but it is what it is at the end of the day. What will happen after this demolition is terrorism, stealing, snatching of phones, Killing people to collect things from their hands because these people will be desperate. At a time like this where the economy is not favoring anybody, people are suffering, the prices of things are going up and you are demolishing. Why can't you try another pattern? By actually looking for people in your team to look for a pattern to, to create housing for these people, even if it's a cheaper housing, before you demolish. So you are demolishing and you are putting them on the street to go and do what? Are they going back to Boronu? Where they are kidnapping, where they are bombing, are they going back to Kano, where there is insurgency and everything? No, they will not go back. They will be here. They will cause another problem for us here. So, at the end of the day, it's so crazy that um, the elites are thinking that the poor people are not part of us. The poor people are your brothers and your sisters. Why do your, your daughters are at home? These people are other people's daughters and other people's sons. Look at the children. Look at them on the ground. What are these kids going to be up? What are they going to grow up and be? Look at them on the ground. Look at them on the ground. No school for them again because their parents does not have anywhere to stay. If rain falls now like this, the rain will fall on these children and the rain will fall on these people. So, um, Nelson Wike, Honorable Minister, I don't know what you are using this land for. According to by strategy and according to the law, the only way you demolish is when what? Then by strategy, you explain that part. Overriding public interest. Overriding public interest. Not to reallocate to another person. Good. Not to reallocate because we are entering here now. Oh, estate and all that. I understand that you want to develop a vision. Fine. This is the work that you have done. But in order to develop, you cannot just displace people. 
you have to create housing for them. We cannot live without the poor people. The poor people are the ones that will do some more jobs that you, the rich people, will not do. Say we can want pens. No. We can want. Uh, we can want the sweet road. No. So the people are the sweet road. Come on, people. What is that? <laughs> Bata, 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 